Hey guys, it's Anya, otherwise known as Pink Sweets here on YouTube. Hey guys, it's Anya and Happy New Year. So today we are going to do a full face of my favorite products. I chose my absolute favorites to do my actual face with, but I will also be talking about a few um, additional options for favorites because some of the categories I just have more than one that I want to talk about. So it might be quite a chatty longer video, but here we are. So for face primer, which I've already put on my face, my absolute favorite combination was the e.l.f. Um, this is the glowy or luminous primer, let's say. No, but it is like the glowy or luminous primer mixed with the Beauty Bakery Bit Wake and Bake Oil. So this combination together, I loved so much. I even sent Betty Jean a set because I knew that she needed to try it because she got me hooked on this. Paulina from Paulina Beauty got me hooked on this. And together, when I mix just a couple drops of this and then like a couple drops of this in the center of my palm, mix it together, put it all over my face. This is my absolute favorite combo. So I've already put that on my face because I let it sink in while I'm doing my makeup. Another favorite has actually been this Touch and Soul Glassy Primer. It's a glassy skin balm, so you can actually use it as a moisturizer or as a primer, and I like it for both. It would be more like a daytime moisturizer, not a nighttime moisturizer. And then last but not least, this Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer, which the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer is also amazing. My friend Nat from Little Miss Nat sent it to me. I will link her up here. Go check out her channel. She did send that to me, and I do think it is a very close dupe for this. The only difference is, is that the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer is a primer, and that's it. And this has more skincare benefits to it. So it's a little bit more like a moisturizer and less like a primer. So that's the only difference that I personally have seen. I'm going to set these aside. So for eyeshadow, because we're going to go in the order that I would do my makeup, I decided to choose a palette as well as eyeshadow singles. So I just dropped my favorite brow pencil. <laughs> um, okay, so we're gonna go, so for my favorite palette of 2019, I'm not even kidding, I'm just as surprised as you guys might be, or maybe you're not gonna be. It is the Tati Beauty Textured Neutrals Palette. This palette has been my favorite. It is a palette that I wear when I'm not filming all the time. This is what she looks like on the inside. You can see that I've definitely dipped in and used it. When I used this for Thanksgiving, I'm not kidding, I had my makeup on for like 12 hours. I personally did not have a single drop of glitter on my face. I have heard from people that some people ended up with glitter on their face. I don't know what the difference is. I don't know if it matters, you know, how much you touch your face, how much you blink, you know, whether you wear glasses or not, if you have hooded eyes or deep set eyes or neither, I'm not really sure. But for me, this lasts from the time that I put it on to the time I want to take it off. And I absolutely positively love it. I love the shimmers. I love the mattes. I love the sequins. I love the glitters. I love this palette. And I'm very surprised because it's a neutral palette, but I'm in love with it. So we're going to use that today. But... I'm going to pair it with my favorite single eyeshadows, which my favorite single eyeshadows for 2019 were definitely the Divina Cosmetics single eyeshadows that I got. So I got the Moonwell bundle, which was a collaboration with Angelica Nequist, which is this one right here. And then also <clears throat> the Exploders and the Galaxy Dust Shadows, which are in here. And my friend, my best, Leanne McCarter, sent me this personalized palette that is definitely one of my favorites of the year. And I actually have been meaning to show you guys something. Let me go grab it really quick. Okay, so I got a package from Leanne, 
and this was what was in it and I just had to show it to you guys. I'm definitely going to put it on my first Christmas tree in my new place next year, but she sent me this Christmas ornament that she had made for me and it says Anya 2019 and it has makeup brushes on it. Is that not freaking adorable? So thank you so much, Leanna. It's sparkly and pink. I just... I love everything about it. She is so amazing. She's so supportive and sweet. I've done a collaboration with her, like an Instagram, YouTube collaboration with her. I will link that up here. So definitely go check that out if you haven't seen it. And I will have her Instagram linked below. She creates some of the most beautiful looks and she is one of the most beautiful people that I know. So thank you, Leanne. I love you so, so much. Okay. So those are my favorite single eyeshadows. I just picked one up with the magnet from this palette. Okay, I'm going to set this aside because I do not want to break that ever. And we're going to start. So we're going to start with using my favorite eyeshadow primer, which is going to be um, my favorite primer of the year would have to be the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow primer. I started out by saying that it was my MAC paint stick and I still do love that but I have found and you guys can let me know but if you go back and you look at my channel when I started using this my looks started becoming more blended and I'm not saying that I don't still love my really you know editorial looks with the sharper edges and the harsher edges and all that stuff but I started enjoying more blended looks on myself when I got this eyeshadow primer and I think that that's because it's less tacky than the MAC paint stick and it's just easier to blend eyeshadow on top of so for me so for me this was definitely a game changer because like I said I think that my looks just started being more blended when I started using this so I have dog hair somewhere on my face and I can't find it. Okay, so I'm going to start by going into the Tati palette. I have so much makeup in front of me that I'm trying not to drop. Okay, so, oh gosh, I have to figure out what kind of look I'm going to do now because I have three palettes that I'm technically working out of. Okay, so I think I'm going to start with the... Tati palette and the Aura row, which is the kind of cream colored row. And I'm going to start with the satin shade and, or sequin shade, sorry. And I'm just going to put that on my brow bone and a little bit kind of into my crease. I love this palette so, so much. I think that brush had something on it which is not good <laughs> because I want it to be very neutral, very, I mean, that particular shade. Like, I just want it to be the cream color that it is. Okay, there we go. Has anybody seen the trailer for the new Grudge movie? Is anybody going to go see it? I want to see it. I was terrified of the first one, though, I'm not going to lie. Um, I'd convinced myself that... Oh, that lady was coming to get me, but okay. So next, I think I want to go into, oh my goodness. I don't know what I want to do. I don't know if I just want to go into the blacks from this one and then, hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. No, I'm going to go into the sequin poetry, poet, not poetry. And that is the burgundy shade. And I'm just going to put that on my outer V. And this burgundy shade is one of the few burgundy slash red shades that does not bother my eyes. Like it doesn't, my eyes don't water when I use it. So I really love that. And I want to know some of your favorite products down below. So definitely let me know. Because I'm always looking for stuff to try. 
I have a video coming up talking about all the different products that I acquired in 2019, specifically palettes. It is ridiculous. I made the mistake of deciding to count how many palettes I acquired. And I say acquired because some of them were gifts and some of them um, I bought, a few I got in PR, so acquired <laughs> um, in 2019, but the amount is ridiculous. But we'll talk about that in that video. But I want to know what some of your favorites were. I know that this is definitely not everyone's favorite palette, but I do know a bunch of people that do love it. Okay, I think I'm next going to go into this shade right here. The Davina formula is just one of my favorites. The mattes and the shimmers. I don't know. I just love the formula. Like, everything I've tried from them, I love. I just ordered their... Um, with some of my Christmas money, I just ordered their Sugar Drops collection, and I'm so excited to use it, or to get it, actually, because it's on pre-order. Their Sugar Drops collection is like a full eyeshadow collection that is like, um, I guess they're duochromes? Is that what they would be considered? I think so. They're like, um... They have a white base, and then they all flash to, like, a different color. I just love that kind of thing. And they look so pretty, and I think they'll go really well with my Galaxy Dust shadows and my Exploders. I'm just so excited. So, so, so excited. Okay. Now that we have this down... I'm going to go back into the Tati palette. This one is, a, that shade was a little bit more purple. And then I'm going to go into that first brush and I'm going to go into Memory, which is the black shade from the Tati palette. And I'm just going to deepen up the very outer V. I have no idea where I'm going with this look. I very rarely plan my looks. That's something I'd be interested to know. When you do your makeup, do you plan to do a look? Or do you just kind of let it happen? How do you create your looks? Okay. Now we're going to take um, glitter glue. My favorite glitter glue. I do love the Too Faced one. I've been using that recently. But my favorite glitter glue of 2019 would have to be the NYX one because it's only $5 and it works really, really well. Today I'm going to use the Too Faced one because I still need to repurchase the NYX one. And I'm trying to use up my Too Faced one before it goes bad. So this is definitely... And I do have some favorites that I'm going to talk about while I'm doing my makeup that are, I'm not actually going to use today only because... If I did, I would have so much on my face, <laughs> and that is not what I want to do. So, in terms of glitter, speaking of glitter glue, like a way to put glitter on your face without it being a pressed glitter or a loose glitter, my favorites are the Urban Decay Glitter Liners and Glitter Gels. The glitter gels recently claim, came, claim out? No, came out. These are the glitter liners. And then in terms of toppers, I would definitely suggest the Milani Hypnotic Lights. I own all the different shades. They are better than the... They are better than the... What was that? One moment, please. Okay, sorry about that. They're better than the Stila Glitter and Glows. And the Stila Glitter and Glows, they're good. But they just, they dry out so quickly and I can't stand it. Drives me nuts. So now we're going to go into the Davina eyeshadows. We're going to go into this iridescent purple here. And I'm going to take a flat shader brush. And I'm going to put that all over my lid. So yeah, it drives me crazy how expensive. Jeffrey, why are you crying? 
how expensive the glitter and glows are and how quickly they dry out. And some of the shades don't. Some of the shades have lasted me forever. Like for instance, the, uh, oh my goodness, what it, wow, that's beautiful. Um, the uh, Freedom shade, the one that's kind of like the same tone as the one I just held up from Milani. That one has not dried out at all. And I have like three of them open that I opened accidentally. I thought I was still using the same one and I had bought backups because I found them at Marshall's. So they were, that shade was being discontinued. That shade didn't dry out at all, but like my diamond one, the silver one, whichever one that's called, um, diamond dust or diamond something, that one dried out within, oh, I don't know, less than a year. Very frustrating. I'm taking a little bit more of the Poet shade from the Tati palette and just feathering that in. So it's very frustrating when you pay 24 something for a product and it dries out. And I purchased the duochrome, like the ones that are white that flash to another color um, in the liquid eyeshadow form. And when I did that, um, they actually, some of them arrived dried out and I tried to contact Stila. I've talked about this before, but I tried to contact Stila and they were not good at customer service at all. So I'm going to take the Divina, um, there's a duochrome like white flashes to pink in that palette. And I'm just going to put a little bit of that on the brow bone. So yeah, I was not happy about the way that they handled that at all because they they wanted me to swatch it before they would um refund me anything and i'm like but I, I i can't swatch a dried out product and they just didn't understand that and then they wanted me to send them all back and then they were going to wait to get them all back and then refund the money or and then send me a new one i don't know I don't remember exactly how it went, but it was a long process. So I was like, that's okay. I'll just get some Duraline and try to revive them. And they were like, okay, have a great day. And that was it. <laughs> so this brush had the black on it. I'm not adding any additional product. I'm just making sure that it's nice and blended. Okay. So now, actually, I am putting a little bit of additional product. I lied. Because I really do want you to be able to tell that there is black on the outer corner. And then I'm going to go, oh, no, I'm not, I guess. I was going to say I'm going to go off camera and do my base, but this is all about showing you everything, right? So I can't really do that. Okay, so for my favorite foundations, which I'll talk about, oh, that's another primer that I've been loving, the Essence Fresh and Fit Awake Primer. That's definitely become a quick favorite. It's more like a moisturizer than it is a primer, so that's why I love it. Okay. So for foundation, Oddly enough, Debbie sent me both of these. Um, there is the, uh, this is what I've been using constantly. And it is the Beauty Blender Foundation. And this is in the shade 1.20. And then the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumia Radiance Perfecting Foundation. The long name in 2N 1.5 beige. So these are the two foundations that I've been using constantly drugstore foundation that would be my favorite that i found this year is definitely the l'oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation i love this one i'm actually going to mix because i love mixing foundations and i have not i'm actually almost out of this l'oreal one but i have not actually mixed my two favorites so we're just going to see how they work together now i don't know where to put this 
Oh, I found out of space. I have so much in front of me, and I keep dropping stuff that I need to show you. Okay. All right. I think we got it situated. So I'm just going to mix them together on my hand and use my sponge to just put it on. So now that you know what I'm using, I'm just going to pause, do this re the rest of this off camera, then I'll come back to do the next step. Okay, with this foundation, I don't feel like I need a concealer. If I was to use a concealer, it would be the, um, the Conceal and Define from Makeup Revolution, the Shape Tape, which I currently don't have an open one because I have so many concealers open that I don't want to open another one. And a recent one that has become my favorite very quickly is the Juvia's Place Concealer. I was not sure about it when I did my first impressions, but that's what first impressions are about. You never know if you're still gonna, you know, if you're gonna change your mind, or at first it was because I had used too much of the product because a little goes a long way. For powders, I have three. <laughs> um, I have my flower from Beauty Bakery, my, uh, flower setting powder. I love this powder. This one is actually empty. I went through it this year. And then the Peach Perfect from Too Faced, I went through it this year as well, and I am about to use some of my new one. And then the Jeffree Star, I swear I had it here in front of me. Okay, there it is. I was like, I know I have it here. Um, the Magic Star Setting Powder in the shade Fair, not the shade Translucent. So whatever your skin tone is, that is the one I recommend getting. Do not get the Translucent one. It is not Translucent. It is paper white, and it literally leaves a white cast on your face, and it's terrible. Like, I don't care if you are paper white. You do not need that white of a setting powder it's it's just it's white white and I just I've been trying to mix it in with some of my other powders and it just instantly turns whatever <laughs> you are using it just turns it like white so I also love still the uh, Maybelline fit me if you want a drugstore powder but those are definitely my three number one setting powders and what I like about all of them they all have one thing in common and that is that they all set your face completely like they set your face 100% it is not you know your makeup is not going to budge it is not going to move and it is they are pretty much all almost sweat proof so the only product that i've really been using well i used the billion dollar brows earlier in the year and i love that product but i go through it really quickly and it's like 20 some dollars so the elf brow pencil pretty much the same thing i absolutely love it i'm gonna go do my brows off camera really quick and i'll be right back i think this is like three dollars and i've been using it for about two years now so, and I have the shade, I prefer the shade medium brown. I have the dark brown and the dark brown is just a little bit too dark for me, but I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. So for bronzer, my favorite high-end bronzer is still the Sweetie Pie bronzer from Too Faced. It looks like this, and this is the one we're going to use today. And my favorite drugstore bronzer, and overall probably favorite bronzer ever, is still the Butter Bronzer. I've been using that, like, pretty much every single video, which is why I was like, you know, I haven't used the Sweetie Pie one in forever, but I have made a dent in it. You can see that I've made a dent, and you can also see all the makeup in front of me. Now, that's interesting. I haven't used this in a hot minute and I'm noticing that it's a lot warmer on me than I remember and that's why I love the butter bronzer so much because the butter bronzer is very uh, cool toned and just very neutral and this one this one's a little bit warmer but I still love it and I still think we can 
you know, blend it out. Okay, I love this brush. I could watch it all day. It's a Lime Crime brush that I randomly got one time. And then I just take my foundation sponge, clean up under it, and just go over it a little bit. Okay, my favorite blush of 2019, 100% the NYX Ombre Blushes. Uh, this is in the shade Sweet Spring. This is my favorite one, and I can actually see the little rivets or whatever they're called. Rivets, is that the right word? Um, I can actually see the little rings starting to come through. So I feel like pretty soon I'm going to hit pan. I like pigmented blush. I don't like buildable blush if I can help it. Um, I don't know. I just want my blush to be pigmented from the beginning. And I can pretty much dip into this one time and be satisfied with how pigmented it is on my cheeks, which I love. Okay. <clears throat> For highlighter... I have a bunch, but my favorite highlighter of 2019, 100% is the Ofra Retrograde Highlighter, and that is this one here. It is Star Island, yes, and Retrograde, no, Star Island and, oh gosh, I don't remember what the purple one is, Mercury? I don't remember what the purple one is called by itself. They do sell them by themselves but I mix them together and I just love them. Ofra highlighters are some of the most blinding and I love them but some other favorites of mine of 2019 would be the Classy Cake Cosmetics highlighters. I love those. I think that they just melt into the skin. They don't leave a weird cast. I actually have them right here. And there is one named after me, but I'm not biased. I honestly really do love them. You can see that I use this palette a lot. So I have, this is Anya, and then we have Sea Turtle, we have Gaia, we have, um, I don't remember what the silver one was called, but I have a silver one and a blue one. I love the Classy Cake highlighters. They go on very beautifully, very blinding from the beginning. So if you don't like a blinding highlight, then it's not for you. But some of the other ones, um, which I'm going to use this one today, this is the Fenty, the original one, the How Many Carrots. And I love taking this. I don't love it by itself at all, but I love taking it and just putting it over top of whatever highlighter I'm wearing and I feel like it just amps it up and kind of makes it look like skin ish <laughs> um, and then I also love the elf heart defensor highlighter if you can find this one still in stores I highly recommend it this shade even though it looks a little bit dark is not too dark even for my skin tone. I think it works on every skin tone and you can mix the two shades together and then last but not least, the Pixie Duos, not not the single ones in the round pan, but the Duos. This is Subtle Sunset, beautiful. I also have Delicate Dew, but those are definitely my favorite highlighters. For my favorite facial spray to spray between doing my makeup would be the Facial Prime and Setting Mist. Um, this is the Giovanni one and Debbie said she got it at TJ Maxx. She's the one who gave this to me. This is the green tea and fresh rose water. It comes in a few different scents, but I just like spraying it in between. And it is the perfect powder to like remove any cakiness. So I absolutely love it. My favorite eyeliners would definitely be the ColourPop liners. I have lots of different shades. I also like the Urban Decay liners, but my favorite shade has been Piggy Bank this year. So I'm going to use that today. And this is like a purpley pink one. And I just freaking love it. But the ColourPop ones, they do break easily. But I don't know. I still love them. <laughs> If, it was, if, if I had a more expensive liner that was breaking that easily, I would probably be upset about it. 
but I think they get a pass, I guess, because they're less expensive. But I still don't think that they should break. Okay, so I think I'm going to do green on my lower lash line. I'm going to use this dark green here on the outer portion. And this is, I know it's a shimmer, but I think I'm okay with that. And this is from Davina. Like I said, the Davina eyeshadows have become some of my favorites. And I just love them. I don't know. They're just... I honestly would like to own all of them. <laughs> I saw on their Instagram someone had tagged them in a post where they had one of those huge C palettes. And... They literally took all of their Davina shadows and put it like in a Z palette and oh, it's so pretty, but I don't, and honestly, like I own a lot of single eyeshadows. I need to, in, in this year, I almost said in 2020, but by the time you see this, it will be 2020. Um, uh, my goal is honestly going to be to really use what I have in my collection, but I own a lot of, ooh, just got it in my eye. I own a lot of single eyeshadows and I don't use them, but these are the one like single eyeshadows that I actually use. Okay. For my inner corner and a little bit on the lid, we're finally going to go into the beautiful awesomeness that is the exploders I'm not going to use one of the galaxy dust eyeshadows today but I am going to use one of the exploders and I think I'm going to use this one which is called Kazuki Kazookles which is this purple one here and I'm in love I'm in love with these and I'm just going to use it in the front end and in the inner corner. Look at the difference that that made. Actually, I guess we're going over a little bit more than I thought. Because I don't want a harsh edge. That is so beautiful and it just transforms any eyeshadow. They did a gorgeous job with these. And I love that they're named after like different candies and stuff from Willy Wonka. They're the Willy Wonka inspired collection. Okay. So it just made it like a little bit more lavender. And then let me grab the other palette so I can flip the brush and take that purple again because I want it to be a little bit more blended and I don't want to lose that purple completely. Maybe I should have just put that in the inner corner but I think it looks pretty. For mascara, my favorite mascara has become the exhibitionist one but before that it was the um, I don't know. I've gone through a lot of mascaras this year. I love the Revlon Volumazing. I went through like three or four tubes of that. Um, but I haven't repurchased it since, repur since purchasing this one. I love the, pro okay, probably my favorite of 2019 would still be the Lash Princess Mascara from Essence. And I'm going to use that over top of this one. I love mixing mascaras. I think it makes the most impact. And I talked about this in another video, but I've been putting less on my lower lash line just so that you can really see the color on my lower lash line. I love this look. Hmm. Let me know down below what you guys think. I think it's a little interesting of a color story, but... I just flung that brush on the floor. It literally got stuck on my sleeve. This is the Lash Princess one. I like the green one the best, but I did just buy a set of all the different ones, so I'm going to be testing those out. 
because I needed a replacement for the green one. And I saw that they had a set of like three for originally $12, but I think I got it on sale for like $9.99, something like that. I don't know if you guys have seen my collective haul yet or not. Probably not by the time this has gone up. Okay, I know we're getting into it's been a long time territory. Okay, my favorite lip liners. I like the Jordana one. I like the LA Girl ones. My favorite one is Discontinued, Sebastian from OCC Cosmetics. But today we're going to use the Fuchsia one from LA Girl. And that is this one right here. And I have learned this year that I am not a liquid lipstick girl. I learned that from my... I mean, okay, no, that's not true. I like liquid lipstick. I prefer gloss. And that's just me. I don't know. I'm not as much of a liquid lipstick girl as I am a gloss girl. I'm going to say that I love the I Love You So Much liquid lipstick from Hank and Henry. This is the one that he came out with with Rich Lux. But my favorite liquid lipstick of all time is Blow Pony from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And his formula is not my favorite as a whole but I love the shade and I just find that when I line my lips his formula looks and goes on better let me I just realized I forgot my favorite lip gloss well okay my favorite lip gloss of the year would be ice cold from Jeffree Star. It's in my purse, which I just realized is in the car. So we're not going to put that on today, but my other two favorites are the dose of colors. Um, it's called a moment. No, it's called the most from the De Desi and Katie collection. I don't think this one is available anymore, but this one is, and this is bloom from sugar pill. And it was one of their first lip glosses that they've come out with. And it goes really well with this lip color. So, and it smells like candy. I love it so much. And when it's by itself, it actually makes your lips look juicy, which that's why I love these three glosses, these two and the Jeffree Star one. But the Jeffree Star Ice Cold, his lip glosses, I wish he would put those in mystery boxes. My favorite two setting powders, no, nope, setting sprays, are the Morphe Continuous Mist. I love this one because it takes away all the cakiness and just makes your face look flawless. It really, really does. As much as I hate to say it because Morphe, I don't know. Not my favorite brand, not my least favorite brand, but, um, and my second favorite, well, no, I love them equally for different reasons, is the Dewy Set. I feel like this actually does help the longe longevity, longevity of my makeup. It smells and tastes, thank you, Debbie, an amazing. And it just makes your face look beautiful. So uh, your skin look beautiful. So this is a full face of my favorite products of 2019. Like I said, please let me know what your favorite products were. And if some of my favorites were your favorites, let me know that as well. I love you guys so, so much. And just remember that different products work for different people. So yeah, those were my favorites. I love you guys and I hope you had a happy new year and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.